So I, I was told only 15 minutes. So I will try in 15 minutes to, to squeeze as much in as I can. Obviously, in writing a, a, a thesis about Fatima, Zahra, I had to do a lot of research in terms of her own children, but particularly research around Al Hussein and the other members of the Ahl Bayt. And, and tonight I wanted to say a few words, not about the martyrdom of Al Hussein, but about the birth of Al Hussein. Because the birth of Al Hussein and his conception in the womb of Fatima is surrounded in the Hadith accounts, not only in the Shia texts, but even in some of the Sunni texts, by stories of heavenly intervention, stories of of God intervening in a special way to make his conception and his birth different from all others. And so I want to offer you some of the most important um, ideas that come to us mostly from the, the text of the, the Hadith. The first important one obviously is the, the whole question of the pre-existence of the Ahl Bayt, the so-called Ashbah tradition, in which the members of the Ahl Bayt are pre-existent and present around the throne of God worshipping him. Now, now it, tonight there isn't time to look at that question, but, but Al Hussein is one of these five figures that is pre-existent and present around the throne of God worshipping him. And the texts that deal with this are found throughout the whole corpus of the Shia tradition, the Hadith, and even carried by some Sunni authors. Firstly, the, the period of Al Hussein in the womb of Fatima, although there is some disagreement between the Sunni and the Shia scholars about the exact date of Hussein's birth, one of the traditions that we find in the, amongst the most important Shia transmitters is that Fatima carried Al Hussein in her womb for six months only. Most of the hadith join this story, this text, with the miraculous birth of Isa, son of Maryam, who is also held by tradition to have had a period in the womb of only six months. The hadith, the hadith that I'm talking about says, she, Fatima, gave birth to him in six months. Al Hussein. The birth of a child in six months is unheard of, except for Al Hussein and Isa, son of Maryam. In fact, there are some transmitters, some hadith that don't talk about Isa but instead say it was Yahya who was only six months in the womb of his mother. And one of the great Shia scholars, Al-Hilli, says in his Muthir al ahzan some say Isa, some say Yahya. Whether it's Isa or Yahya is not important. What's important is that the text of this hadith lifts up or elevates Al Hussein while he is still in the womb of Fatima to the same status at least of Yahya and Isa. Therefore Al Hussein is separated from the time he is in his mother's womb from all other men, suggesting even then that there is something unique about him. And this separation of Al Hussein from all other men while he is still in the womb of his mother is backed up by a second tradition which tells us that the heavens and the earth have only ever wept for two men, Yahya and Al Hussein. And a third tradition based on Quran Surah 19 carried by only a very few transmitters which tells us that as in the case of Yahya, so too in the case of Al Hussein, no one has ever received this name before. And I quote from the hadith, I heard Abu Abdullah saying, we have given the same name to none before him. This is a quote from Surah 19. Al Hussein bin Ali, no one had this name before him. Yahya bin Zakaria, no one had this name before him. So, the first set of texts deals with the time while Al Hussein is still in the womb of his mother. Already there, he is unique, separated from other men because of the time he is in the womb and also because he is given a unique name. While he is still in the womb, we are told by the Hadith, Al Hussein is given special protection from Iblis. This separation of Al Hussein and this lifting up of Al Hussein to a higher status is expressed in this tradition, translated by, transmitted by Al Majlisi in his Bihar al Anwar from a number of, of authors. And thank you. It says, She, Fatima, became pregnant with Al Hussein and God guarded her and guarded the one in her womb from Satan. Very few 
Sufia sources carry this tradition, but nevertheless it is present and it is closely related to the Quranic verse in which we are told that the wife of Imran, mother of Maryam, having consecrated to God the child in her womb, dedicates her to God at the moment of her birth. I have named her Mary and I crave thy protection for her and for her offspring from Satan the outcast. The tradition expa is expanded even more by the tradition that comes to us from Muhammad. There is none born of the children of Adam whom Satan does not touch as soon as he is born and who does not raise his, cry his voice in a cry from the touch of Satan except for Maryam and her son. So what the tradition has done is it's taken the Quranic verse about Maryam, it's taken the hadith from Muhammad about the children of Adam and it's added Hussein to this. So that once again the status of Al Hussein is made rich and, and, and given special significance even from the time that he is in the womb. The third group of traditions, and there are many of them, are traditions which an announce the birth of Hussein and at the same time give forewarnings of his martyrdom. And I'm going to read one of these traditions. When Fatima became pregnant with Al-Hussein, Jibrail went to the Messenger of God and said, Fatima will give birth to a boy whom your community after you will kill. When Fatima became pregnant with Al-Hussein, she was reluctant in carrying him. And at the time of her giving birth to him, she was reluctant at his birth. Then Abu Abdullah said, Never in the world has a mother been seen to give birth to a boy with such reluctance. But she was reluctant after having learned that he will be killed. He said, and this verse came down about her, and we have commended unto man kindness towards parents. His mother beareth him with reluctance, and bringeth him forth with reluctance, and the bearing of him and the weaning of him is thirty months. So, great scholars like al Kulaini have inserted into this tradition Quran Surah 46 to once again stress the delivery of Al Hussein from his mother Fatima in tears with reluctance and this is the start of a whole series of terrible warnings of his future martyrdom even before he is born already we know that he will be martyred the most of these hadith are transmitted by visits from angels but these warnings also come through the Prophet by visions that he has or by certain individuals who before Hussein is even born are already having dreams of Karbala and I have three very quick examples here is the first tradition Jibrail came down to Muhammad and said to him Muhammad God announces to you a child who will be born of Fatima and whom your community after you will kill he said O Jibrail peace to my Lord I have no need of a child who will be born of Fatima and whom my community after me will kill Jibrail ascended back to heaven, then he came down and he said the same thing to him. Muhammad said again, O Jibrail, peace to my Lord, I have no need of a child who will be born of Fatima and whom my community after me will kill. Jibrail ascended to heaven and then came down a third time and said, O Muhammad, your Lord greets you and announces to you that he is the one who sets in his descendants the imamate and the authority and the testament. <coughs> 